Hey everybody, Julie Quinn here. I'm going to create a short video to show you how to use Phrase Express. So Phrase Express is, uh, the, is a software that allows you to set up hotkeys and hotkeys um, with built-in um, text and hyperlinks behind them for giving feedback, um, for, for doing emails, for typing in discussions or in um, the Canvas box feature, or even in a PDF, or you know anywhere that you leave text that you may write the same thing over and over again, Phrase Express, uh, I would buy stock in this company if I could. So, um, thank you, Brianna, for uh, from Seidel uh, Woodbridge faculty member for for emailing this to us. You can find the links in Brianna's email from a couple of weeks ago. Um, you could probably also find it in the email that I'm creating with this video. So. Imagine I've got a fake student paper here, so I can show you some of the notes um, and ways to use Phrase Express and kind of how I've got it set up. So the way what you do is you download the app and then you start to build your shortcuts. And so, for example, you can see that in the sample paper, if a student submitted this, it doesn't exactly look like MLA or AP style. It's a little bit of MLA, but we're missing that biographical information. So I can just highlight where I want my comment to go, and then I can type for one. For one is my hotkeys um, uh, code for format. You know, you want to follow MLA and APA style, add, and then, you know, your name. Sometimes it depends. They have some of the data and not the others, but it gives me the little text prompt, and I can modify it as I need to. So I can give that student uh, particular information that I think is really important. Let me show you another one that I can do. Um, here is a, uh, uh, possessive pronoun that the, the student has as a contraction instead. So you'll notice that in my Word document, the blue lines, because I've got grammar and spell check turned on. Well, I have a GS1 notation for grammar and spelling. And all I type is GS1 and then space. Once you hit that space, it replaces GS1 with whatever you've written out. You'll notice we have an affect effect issue here. And then it doesn't preclude you. I can just type in whatever I want and I can always personalize all of the notes. One of the things I won't do with Phrase Express is do the same note over and over. I feel like that's overkill. So if I notice two grammar issues, I can um, just say same as above. So it, it, I'm drawing my reader back. Imagine that this paragraph just doesn't, you know, have a topic sentence. One of my entries is PAR1 that provides really hyper basic body paragraph structure, topic sentences, some evidence. And we talk about this in depth in class. And then imagine that I felt that the student, I just don't see a. So, of course, you can type in. Uh, you know, modify the information there. But what's really great is I use this one, especially when I'm Zooming with students in conference. So we're in a Zoom, I'm like, hey, look at your chat. And then I have PAR1. I don't have to retype it in those quick 10 or 15 minute conferences. I can use my hotkeys in a Zoom chat window. I can use them anywhere. It saves me an absolute ton of time. So what you do is you download the software. Let me show you what it looks like. And then you go to new phrase. There's also a shortcut you, uh, when you're in the file, say for example, there's a note here and I want to do a new one. I do control alt C and then the little short window pops up. So it's like, okay, this is what's going to fill in the blanks. And my auto text would be whatever it is. So uh, imagine that the first time that I'm creating, um, a shortcut and this is what I want the shortcut to say. So I just type it out and then I highlight it and I do control alt C and then the little shortcut window pops up. And then I go, the first time I did it, I went GS one and then it will execute after the default delimiter, which is the space. And then you just click okay. And it puts it in the repository. I separately decided to create a table and I wanted some, there's look at how many I've got now. I've got multiple ones for point of view, you know, for second person versus first. I've got one for, you know, avoiding talking about yourself in academic essays outside of narratives. I've got um, uh, email notes that in here and I've got for, for you know, long paragraphs. Whoa, this paragraph is really too long. 
So I've got all sorts of notes and I created all of these little shortcuts and I've memorized about half of them, but because I took the time to really organize this table, it will remind me, do I need to build something? So for a while, as you're building Freeze Express, what you'll find is that it's not going to save you 100% of the time that it will in about a month. You have to build the repository and then you have to remember what your, what your notes are. I find that this table is easier for me to read than it is, um, the Phrase Express, uh, app itself. And then it just reminds me, do I have something on that? And what is that? And the more that I look at it, the more that I remember. And it's, it's just really saved so much time. And uh, I'm able to direct students to figuring out, you know, uh, where to go on the web. I don't have too many URLs in here yet. I've got a couple of them, you know, that which I've got the one for fragments. I've got one for APA, um, but I'll have more. It's just, it's going to take me time. And sometimes I find that I don't like the way that I phrase this. I can quickly go into Phrase Express and chunk out or rephrase any of my notes and it works like a dream. So hopefully this tutorial uh, will encourage you to consider using it. Um, it's just a tool that helps us give feedback, really personalized, very in-depth feedback that I think, especially with the, these online classes that we're teaching are going to be um, as important um, as ever. Let me know if you have questions.